This video is sponsored by Crypto.com. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Flux just partnered with Seed Studio to deliver top tier plug and play Flux nodes. Previously, I've talked about the change for Flux nodes. While the collateral is being reduced, the hardware requirement has been increased by a lot, in my opinion. For example, for Nimbus, the original requirement for RAM is only 8 gigabytes, now it's 32. For Cumulus, I would imagine most people are interested in went from two cores to two core four threads, eight gigabytes of RAM and 220 gigabytes of SSD instead of original 50. And if you're new to Flux Nodes, here's the current rewards as of the making of this video. And the collateral you have to provide is not like other projects where you have to stake for multiple months. Over here, you can delete your node at any time and you can take back your flux at any time. That makes running a flux node appealing to a lot of people. Quick pause here, welcome to the channel. If you like the content, please subscribe and like our videos. For every like we receive, $1 will be donated to one of the charities of our choice each month. You can check out our previous donations under our community tab. And also this video is sponsored by crypto.com. You can support the channel by signing up for one of my favorite crypto apps. I will have the referral code and referral link in the description below. On top of their crypto trading app, they also have their Visa card. There's no annual fee you can top up with crypto or fiat. There's also no credit check. Personally, I have the Loyal Indigo card and it's giving me some great staking rewards on top of whatever they're already offering. You can have that link to your Apple Pay or you can request for a metal card. And if if you want a higher tier card, they will also cover your Spotify, Netflix, Amazon Prime, and some other travel benefits, including airport lounge access. When you sign up using my referral code and get a Ruby Steel card, you will also get $25. And remember, you can sign up at crypto.com slash app slash mototech. With the bump in requirement for these new nodes, the challenge becomes where to get these hardware as cloud VPS due to the cost and the fact they can be centralized. But just in case if you're curious from the rewards perspective, there's no difference between hosting using a VPS and hosting using your own gear. The main differences are if you're renting a VPS, you're basically throwing your money into the air. But if you buy hardware, you actually get the hardware at the end and you can sell your hardware at any time. It's just like buying a house versus renting a house. And especially with the chip shortage right now, for example, a Raspberry Pi 4 computing module with 8 gigabytes of RAM on eBay, it's sold for over $300. And that's about five times of the normal price. Also hosting your own gear at home helps with the decentralization of this project. And also another thing people have been asking for for Flux Note is plug and play hardware. We have to admit that not everybody is technical enough or simply have the time to set up one of these nodes from the very beginning to the end and do all the maintenance. That's why I think it's a great move for Flux to partner with C Studio, who could potentially make things a lot easier for deploying nodes. So maybe one day my grandma can also deploy one of these nodes. That being said, let's take a look at what C can offer. Here's a very nice landing page on C Studio's website. And down here is whatever they can offer. And they're also trying to gather opinion from the community. You can vote for what gear you want to buy and you can get a $10 coupon. In my previous videos, I've introduced products from Seed. For example, I have this really cool plug and play Helium Mapper. It's not for Flux, I know. It's for the Helium network. And I also have bought their uh, RE terminal, which is powered by a Raspberry Pi 4 computing module. And you can see it's actually offered down here, but remember, do not buy the ones from Amazon because uh, this is what I got from Amazon. And this is a Raspberry Pi 4 computing module with four gigabytes of RAM. For Cumulus node, you will need eight gigabyte. And something really cool is that it comes with a screen and it's a touch screen. It's also got some buttons. There's a PCI expansion slot and it looks like this. And this is the heat sink. And also in the center, there is a expansion slot. They are coming out with adapter where you can just plug into that slot and you can plug in your SSD expansion. Also, if you're into IoT project on the side, here are all the IO pins. On the other side, there are a bunch of other ports it's a really nice device. And just to remember, make sure you don't buy the four gigabytes one. And also you can look at the Jetson Nano. Flux said that since they're partnered with Nvidia, even though Jetson Nano has four gigabytes of RAM, it will still meet the requirements for running a Cumulus node. And some people ask, if I can get a Raspberry Pi, why would I get a Jetson, right? Flux is promoting proof of useful work 
And the reason they partner with NVIDIA is because the Justin device have GPU power. And that's something your Raspberry Pi won't be able to offer. So later on, when they start offering rewards for GPU power on these nodes, I would imagine that the Justin device will outperform the Raspberry Pis. And I really like the blue box over here with some of the single board computers. Here, the Jetson Xavier NX, I actually have one of these devices. Absolutely love this device. It's got a blue aluminum box, which fits Flux theme, a glass on the top, which you can pop off. And once you pop that off, and there is your Jetson chip mounted on top of a uh, carrier board. So this is not the Nano, this is the Xavier NX which is a little bit overkill for the new requirement, but this is what I got. So I'm gonna use this to run a new node. I actually did a benchmark yesterday. This thing has no problem running a Cumulus node with the new requirements. I'll also provide guide on how to set up one of these devices because it is a little bit more difficult than a normal Raspberry Pi. And especially you wanna start from the beginning where you have to flash the OS. If you don't have Ubuntu 18.04, you're kind of out of luck. I've tried to flash this thing on a VM with Docker. It just never worked very well. Again, these devices are very powerful. You can actually use it as a normal desktop running Ubuntu. And then we have the AGX Orin that's not out yet. Looks like they also offer some sort of uh, low power i5 originally designed for edge computing. And I know this device, you can also add some storage into it. Maybe later on when Flux releases a storage node, that's something people can look at. For right now, it will meet Nimbus requirements. And down here, we have a setup guide from Goose Tech for light nodes. And then, yeah, I'm very excited about this. C Studio has been very active participating in all these Web3 projects. They partnered with Helium in the past, and now they're partnering with Flux. Having a reliable production line is definitely good for a project like Flux. And don't forget the edge computing IoT AI ML community C Studio can bring into Flux. And of course, you can always choose to buy your own hardware, like your own motherboard, CPU, and uh, cases, and the storage, RAM, and all that. And that's probably what I'm gonna do too with some of my old motherboards. But the good news is that Flux is currently testing on hosting multiple nodes from home. So you can have your own build, you can have your own Jetson Nano, your Jetson AGX, or a Raspberry Pi, or RE server. I'm super excited about this. Let me know what you think and what hardware you're gonna buy. Leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe and like our video. Thank you for watching. This is Molotech. I will see you next time.